Hi, I'm Kimberly McNeilan and I'm with Woodworkers Journal. This week I'm at North House Folk School and I've been taking a class on Scandinavian shrink boxes. These boxes are made out of green wood that as they dry, they shrink around the bottom that you've carefully fitted by carving it with a knife. I'm going to demonstrate now how to do some safe knife carving techniques. The first technique I'd like to show you involves taking your workpiece in your non-dominant hand and bracing it against your leg firmly and holding it still. Then I'll take the hand with the knife in it with the blade pointing out and I will cut away from my body holding my workpiece as still as possible. In comparison to that, you can brace your hand that has the knife in it against your leg firmly and using the other shoulder, you'll pull your workpiece away from the knife, keeping the knife very still. The next technique I'd like to show you could be called the violin cut. You take your work in your non-dominant hand and you can either hold it against your chest or you can use a breastplate so that you don't hurt yourself. Then I take the other three fingers that I'm not holding my work with and I wrap them around the hand that has the knife in it. And as I'm cutting the wood, I squeeze with my non-dominant hand while I'm pulling with my dominant hand in order to make the cut. The last carving technique I'd like to show you is like peeling a potato. I wrap my thumb around the back of my work and as I squeeze my grip, I make nice little shavings. This may seem as though it's dangerous because I'm cutting towards my thumb. However, you'll be surprised at how much muscle control you actually have that won't allow you to injure yourself. As with all woodworking techniques, knife carving requires practice in order to master it. I hope today you learned some safe cutting techniques and you'll give knife work a try.